Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, there's a paper convention in the hotel, so I just got a bit of paper. Um, I'd like to thank everybody representing from where we come from, Labrick Grove, London. I'd like to thank my band members, Paul, Topper, Terry, and Joe, my songwriting partner, who has just really had so much integrity and inspired us all and was really the real thing. And I'd like to thank also Bernard Rhodes, our visual manager, Cosmo Vinyl, Johnny Green and Baker Glare. I'd also like to mention my old school friend Robin Banks, who's in Baghdad at the moment as a human shield. I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame and accept this honour on behalf of all the garage bands that never may have dreamed of this type of moment. Thank you all. I'm quite certain that in a few moments I will simply wake up safe and sound in my bed in East London. But um, in the meantime, I'm just going to carry on here, if that's OK with all of you. Um, there are two drummers being inducted tonight, and I don't want to pass up the opportunity to pay tribute to my friend and fellow drummer, Topper. Um, I love those early songs from the first album. I love them still. But I had no idea back then the extent to which the band would develop and diversify. In fact, when I rejoined five years later, it was a bit of a shock to have to play all these different styles suddenly. And much of the credit for that goes to Topper, I think, not just because of his undoubted skill as a drummer, but also because of his contribution on the creative side, helping with some of the songwriting for example, on Rock the Casbah. So I'd like you, you all to join with me now to salute the contribution of Topper Hedden. <laughs> we, we heard earlier that the, the whole is always greater than the sum of its parts. Well, this particular part would like to express gratitude uh, for being recognized this evening and I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame very much indeed. Thank you all very much. Radio. Right, sushi recommendation. Oops, that's the wrong one, hold on. There we go. Right, I was 18 years old, and I was studying at the Bymshaw School of Art. A year later, via a chance meeting with Mick Jones and Bernie Rhodes, I was suddenly in the group that became The Clash. From 1976, the next eight years were exciting and explosive, both on and off stage. Um, Mick, Joe and me we were like the three musketeers, brothers in arms, fighting to get our message across. On achieving international recognition, we disbanded and went our separate ways. At this point, I'd like to uh, acknowledge the important contribution that Bernard Rhodes played in, in the makeup of The Clash. So, some would say, no Bernie, no Clash. Right. I sadly miss my older brother, my big brother, Joe, who I shared my most life-changing experiences, as well as his dull check. I would also like to thank, and this is real serious, those that played their part in it. In, it was like real teamwork. And, and here it goes. It's Todd Beheden, Terry Chimes, Cosmo Vinyl, Johnny Green, Baker, and Guy Stevens. And a special thank you to Trisha O'Nane for keeping it together after the clash had split, split up. 
All right. Thank you. Joe was very proud and honored to be inducted, and um, on his behalf, I accept his award. Thank you. Just want to say a big shout out to the Sex Pistols also.